Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Wednesday, new team of the week coming out this week, or today, uh, and a lot of stuff happening on FIFA. In relation to the Player of the Month Messi SBC, uh, so today we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna label this like a market talk video because we're gonna talk about a lot of stuff today. We're gonna talk about Road to the Final upgrades, Road to the Final price movements today. We're gonna start with that. Of course, the content that came today with the packs, where the market is at, high rated cards um, that pertain to the Messi player of the month, and maybe talking about actually Thursday flips as well, and a couple of situations that could go on with that. That All that Thursday flipping this week uh, kind of relies on the uh, player of the month Messi, in my opinion, um, but other stuff kind of will not. So I want to talk about a few things related to Thursday flipping as well. This isn't really like a Thursday flipping video, just more of a market talk because we're going to cover so many things on this video today we're going to talk about a lot of stuff so first of all i want to talk about road to the final because that stuff is going on and it's happening right now today we had two players in fifa ultimate team that absolutely took a dive in price because their teams went from being in champions league down to europa league which means one less upgrade for them those guys would be nerez and handanovic handanovic doesn't have a big of a drop as percentage wise as Nerez does. Nerez is down at 44,000 coins. Some people were saying he was actually getting sniped under 30k um, at the time when Ajax uh, were losing and when they lost. You can look at his price drop right now. Went from 118 pregame down to 44k where he's currently at. Now this card is definitely still a live item. They're going to be going to Europa League, but I don't know if he's going to continue to get upgraded. I kind of I would like him to get upgraded, man, especially for you guys to have Tagliafico. This would be a nice little left wing link partner to a Tagliafico. And if he gets one more upgrade, he's going over 90 pace, over 80 shot, over 80 passing, and over 90 dribbling. So that would do a lot for his face card. And it would be kind of fun to trade with in this game as well. That'd be a card that might actually rise as a Europa League live card. But he got panic sold a ton today. And uh, Handanovic is down a lot as well. Handanovic has the price range cap at 120,000 coins, which he was basically at before today's game. I was telling a lot of people to sell on this card because even if they do win, he can't really go up because he'll be extinct. So that's why I was telling people to get out right around 120K. GG's if you did. Uh, and the rest of the cards really haven't moved too much. Allen's down a little bit today. Napoli won. Um, but the rest of the cards really haven't moved a ton. Conte is about the same price. Mane is about the same price. We'll see tomorrow if we do have more market movements for the guys that have already played. And even for some of the guys that went up today because like uh, Wass went up. I don't know how much more this guy is going to go up at 60K. Yes, he's going to get that other upgrade. But those upgrades aren't going to come until Friday. And if you guys have any of these cards that you're making money on, like Depay is up today. Um, I would probably just take the coins on them, to be honest. I would still kind of take the coins on those cards because uh, with everything that's going to happen this, this Thursday, with this Friday, just wait and see what happens, you know? Uh, because those those upgrades are going to be out on Friday. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. But the Messi is, in my eyes, a bigger thing for this market. Now, of course, some guys do play today, so we'll see some market movements for the Wednesday games. Uh, and if you're still want to mess around with some cards that are in the kind of like the, the the zone where they could go up they could go down thomas party is your guy this could be a guy that you know with one upgrade he's looking like a beast card so a lot of people might have their eyes on this card just be careful watching today atletico are kind of in the in the the interesting zone for they could get in they could be on the outside looking in for champions league so just keep an eye on that card could fluctuate a lot today more road to the final action it was fun Road to the final action is fun in this game. It's fun to watch those cards move. That's why they're live items. And you know that Nerez card is a good example of what's going to happen when a lot of these cards get knocked out uh, in the later months of this year. You know, a guy like this going from 100K down to 40K. This is not going to be uncommon uh, in the next coming months. As guys, as teams get uh, eliminated from this tournament, you're going to see price drops like this in the coming months on cards like this. And it's going to be normal. Uh, it's crazy to think about, but it's going to be normal for some of the cards like this uh, that their teams do lose. So let's move on from that. That's a little bit of a road to the final update. If you have any questions, of course, drop your comments down below. Uh, I want to talk about later on this week with Thursday flipping and the messy SBC. Because, boys, I honestly think that Messi is going to be um, a definite person that this game is going to be all about this coming week so like i mean everybody's gonna be all about messy this week 
But I want to talk about our normal Thursday flipping opportunities. We're going to look at a, do we have a team of the week prediction? I do not see a team of the week prediction right now. Let me go into Footbin. Do they have their team of the week prediction up? Team of the week prediction on Footbin. Booyah, right here. We'll always, as we do on uh, on Wednesdays, we take a look at the team of the week for possible Thursday flipping investments, possible some um, investments that we could link to that people might be buying. Team of the week has uh, the predictions from Footbin. They've got Suarez, Depay, Royce, Rashford. Pretty solid looking team of the week. Sancho, Varan, Grimaldo. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I do think Varan is going to get in. Um, and this really intrigues me because of the Ramos and the Militao situation. Another special version of a Madrid center back. I'm really interested to see what happens with these guys and their price this week. So that's going to be something to watch for. Kieta could be interesting. Another Premier League midfielder. Royce could increase the price of maybe some link investments and outside like a Sancho um, or a Timo Werner who could be getting a player of the month this week. Rashford with some links as well. If you guys have ones to watch Wambi Saka, I want to talk about that for a second as well. Um, you know, this is kind of like uh, you could really take a risk here. I don't know if Wabi Saka is going to get in. I really don't know if he's going to get in, but right now he's chilling right around 40K, just a little bit under 40K, I believe, is where this card is at. If this card gets an in form, he's going to go to an 82 rated card and he is going to be worth way more than 40K. So just be careful, man. Maybe if you're somebody who's holding these one swatches, maybe you have 10 of them. Maybe you sell like seven into the hype and you hold three and see if he gets the inform because with an 82 rated inform, he's going to have 90 plus pace, over 80 dribbling, uh, mid 80s defense. He's going to get like a plus three or plus fours in a lot of the stat categories. And that's going to make this card, I think, could, on a, could honestly be 100,000 coins. This one swatch card could go up to 100K if he does get an inform. I think his price could double. Just because you think about um, the how people value pacey right backs in this league, Wambi, uh, not Wambi Saka. This is Wambi Saka. Ricardo Pereira is like 60k, and compare him to this card right here. Compare him to Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, there is no way that people are going to be paying 100k for Trent Alexander Arnold after they see this possible inform upgrade on um, Wambi Saka because right now Wambi Saka's card is almost as good as Trent's without the passing. Uh, but the the defense and the physical are about the same with the dribbling as well. And then Wambi Saka with over 90 pace, I think would be probably around this expensive uh, as Alexander Arnold or even more. It would make sense. He's got the Manchester United hype as well. So if you have that card, those are my my thoughts on that. Now, again, more Thursday flipping talk for this week. The messy SBC is on Thursday, right? And that's what everything in this market is really looking forward to and really talking about. Everybody's worried about Thursday Messi SBC, what's going to happen? Well, I can tell you a couple different things. So many cards right now in the high tier market. You know, we're talking about um, like even a gold card, like gold Mane. Thanks to the, possibly thanks to the Di Maria SBC a little bit. I mean, this guy is down so much in price, like 240,000 coins for this card who was just well over 300K uh, during, even like after Black Friday. I mean, he went up after Black Friday. And now he's like 245k, right? Crazy. I think there's going to be a ton of buyback on cards this weekend because the messy SBC is going to come out and people are just going to be, you know, uh, they're going to get liquid from it. So many people have invested in this uh, and, you know, that's going to affect, they, they sold their cards that they had in their team to go and invest in this SBC. Now they're going to sell their investments wherever it's a profit or, or if it's a loss. And they're going to go back and they buy their teams back across all levels of this game, man. There are people with very high budgets. Like you look at icons that have gone down this week, um, especially a guy like Garincha. This Garincha card is, was like 1.2, 1.3 million. And now he's right around a mil. Uh, I seen him for like a million flat earlier today. So that's a 300,000 coin drop on an icon like this. One of the most rarest cards in the game, these icons, and they're dropping like that for this messy SBC. I think there's gonna be some buyback on the icons on the out of pack special cards, and even on some of the most meta golds and, car and cards like that in this game, I do think you're gonna see a buyback because people have to buy their teams back for weekly, right? A lot of people sold their teams this week to go out on the market and to prepare for this messy SBC. Now, I wanna give you a little bit of a quick update on the prices of the high rated golds because they are down. These cards are down a decent amount thanks to the pack supply SBCs we got today with the UEFA marquee matchups. That really hurt these cards. Um, and 
I, I don't really know what's going to happen with these cards tomorrow, man. I told a lot of you guys that maybe we should be selling into the hype. Luckily, I'm still making a decent amount of money on these cards. But, um, you know, um, like Erickson, by, for example, was like 32 or 33K before this SBC came out. He's back down to like 29, as it said over here on Footbin. It looks like he's 32 now, but he was down under 30,000 coins for a, for a hot second today. As you can see, he was 34, actually, uh, early la or late last night. 34,000 coins for Erickson, who I've got on my transfer list at uh, at 27K. I bought a, a decent amount of them for. And a lot of you guys with high-rated golds are kind of wondering, what do you need to do? Like, what's going to happen? Well, there's a lot of other people in this game that are invested in high-rated golds, right? Um, so this is how I can kind of see it working, going a couple different ways on Tuesday, Thursday, excuse me, Thursday, 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 Thursday when Messi comes out, I do see it going a couple of different ways. Busquets right now is 44k. He was like 48 or 49, I think at one point, but this is how I kind of see it going. The SBC comes out, Messi comes out Thursday. It's after week in league rewards. You probably see the market tick up a little bit during week in league rewards, just a little, not much. Maybe some people start to buy back. And Messi comes out and he's way too cheap and the panic selling ensues and tons of people are selling their cards in the market. There's a really, there's a lot of panic on the upper tier specials, I think is where you would see that panic the most on the more uh, people that haven't sold their team. They're like, okay, this is way too cheap. And it would be kind of like a mass panic situation like we saw with the Vardy SBC, right? People sold just about everything on the game to go and get that SBC because it was just very quiet or, or very, very cheap. Uh, but then there was a buyback from it, right? And it was like, why is all this stuff crashing? It shouldn't be. For the Messi, if the SBC is like under 1.5 mil or even cheaper than that, I think that would be very cheap and a lot of people would go out and do it. Um, but if the SBC is over like 2 million coins, think about how many in FIFA don't have, so how many people in FIFA literally don't have the funds to go and do that SBC. And think about even how many people in FIFA can't even do that SBC to begin with if it's over a million coins, right? Guys that are playing with meta players every week, like the Lang Lei, like Umtiti, like Ter Stegen, you guys that have less than 700,000 coin teams, they're not even thinking about doing this SBC right away at the moment. So they're not really worried, right? But some of them may be sold cards to invest as we get a sale. Let's go. That's what we'd like to see. And you might see some buyback. I think it's guaranteed this week that you're going to see some buyback. Again, people are so invested with these high rated cards. People that aren't even traders and that don't usually invest are investing for this SBC because they want to do it or they want to make some coins off it because they know it's a huge event. There's just a ton of people invested for this SBC and that means their coins are tied up into investments and not into cards on this game. So I actually think there's part of me that thinks that Thursday flipping could be a great, it could be awesome this week, but that time frame might not be our normal Thursday, right? I think if there is a Thursday flipping opportunity this week, the sell time is actually going to be on Friday before Footmas. Now, the only other thing that scares me is the Footmas promo, but people still have to play weekly, right? So I do think you're going to see it rise. And again, we always focus on the safe out of pack stuff, out of packs cards. Um, obviously, not team of the group stages. I'll talk about those a little bit as well towards the end of the video. But out of pack special cards, the screams, I mean, some of these informs are down so freaking much this week. Some of these really, really meta cards that, that so many people use in their teams are down a lot this week. And I think it's an opportunity to possibly flip them for the weekend. Havertz, 109,000 coins. He was just 100K. Even a guy like Mares at 60K. A lot of these guys, if you just look at their graphs, it's like straight down. Like really, why not all them? 147. He's like 180 before all this, right? Yeah, 170, 180K, boom, down to 140. I think you won't see a rise all the way back up to the peak prices after Black Friday, but I will think, I do think you're gonna see a little bit of an uptick in prices this weekend. Again, you can look at the most popular players on Footbin if, if you wanna look at, to invest in some gold cards. Even a guy like Mbappe and Neymar. Mbappe is out of packs right now, man. 893K, I could easily see him being like 950 after Messi comes back out this weekend rebounding back up nicely. And then some of the other uh, cards in this game that people use all the time, Van Dyke, 561, that's kind of cheap. Um, maybe some other informs and special cards that are low. Thomas Muller's 173, he's not a usual Thursday flipper, but I mean, that's pretty low for that card. There's just a lot of cards that are like really low on this game right now. And I do think it's an opportunity to invest in them. Obviously you could look at link investments to Messi. I mean, the Semedo card at like 130,000 coins under 130 for Semedo is not honestly that bad. 
I looked at a DeYoung as well. I picked up a DeYoung tonight for 240K. 249, I think I got for Semedo. As I'm going to kick down to Ultimate Team. Nice. You'd love to see that. You could definitely try a little bit of a link invest into Messi. Um, but, I mean, I don't think that's going to be super duper crazy. I mean, I would expect a guy like Semedo or uh, DeYoung to have their normal weekend rise in terms of cards. The card movement that they normally have. Oh, no, I messed that up. Oh, it's a rip, dude. In terms of their normal rise for the weekend league, uh, I would think that they would have uh, just maybe a little bit extra, but nothing super duper spectacular. It just all depends on the price of that messy SBC again. Uh, but again, we always look at the out of pack special cards. Like that's something that we look at almost every week. And that's something that you can do on, on, on Wednesday. Obviously wait until we get the content on Wednesday, see what's happening. And if you want to do some flips, look into some team of the week cards, look into cards that always go up. Tellez 120 K he's down. Robertson at 237 is down a lot. Um, even this Kappa card, you get him under 20,000 coins. He might be 25 K after the weekend league. Um, you know, Chesney, very rare in form. Pereira, very popular right back in form. If Wambi Saka doesn't come out, um, you know, something like that. So just watch out for some panic selling this weekend on the market. Open bids on these specials. Trading with these specials is fantastic right now. That's why I'm a million deep into flips right now is because trading with these cards is fantastic. And I do think there's going to be an opportunity to flip cards after the lot of the people that have invested for Messi Player of the Month and after that SBC comes out. Um, after that whole scenario and situation go down and we figure out what's happening with the market. I do again think that you could see some of the biggest rise on icons. Like some of these icons are down so freaking much. Um, and there's pro qualifiers this weekend. Now they do have some 86 rated squad restrictions. So some of the lower icons or some of the icons that um, people throw into those teams, you know, consult with your favorite FIFA pro or look on Twitter for some of your favorite P FIFA pros to see what kind of squads they're using. And those could be some of the squads, uh, card prices that you see go up this week as they are getting into player squads um, as well. So just that's a reminder uh, for that. But again, it is kind of an at your own risk Thursday flipping this week. And that's why I didn't really make this video like Thursday flipping investments because I wanted really for you guys to think, okay, what's my situation with the messy SBC? What do I think is going to happen? And is it going to be worth it for me to try to risk invest and do some of this stuff? I would just say, look for some panic selling. If you see out of packs in forms that are too low, that is the move on cards like that. Now I want to talk about one last thing that is foot miss, man. Foot miss is probably going to be Friday. Will they do a loading screen? I don't know. We'll have to see about that as well. Are they going to keep foot miss the same this year as, last, as past years? I don't know about that either. That could affect some of the Thursday flipping stuff, but I honestly don't think that it won't too much because there have been so much of a sell-off this week that I think it's just impossible that nothing goes lower. And, that, and there, I mean, something might go lower, right? Yeah, you know, there's always those odds and ends on the market, um, but nothing is going to, like... Everything has to go up to some extent, you know, the usable weekend league, popular meta cards that everybody uses. People don't have teams right now, so they're going to have to buy that back to play weekend league. And that's just that's a fact. It's going to happen. You know, you will see some of those cards rise up. That's why we focus on the out of packs cards, though, just because they are some a bit a bit better of a buy. If you see this card around 250K, I'm a fan there around the 250K range for that De Young. Other informs as well, scream cards, fo like focus in on those, get on the bids, get them cheap, icons, again, meta, stuff like that, Thursday flipping possibilities. Team of the group stage cards, a lot of you guys want to know when to buy team of the group stage. You saw the supply that they got today, right? These cards are back down lower. Some of them are lower than they have ever been right now in this game. Wait until after the Messi SBC comes out for these, because if that Messi comes out, he's going to have 50k packs as possibly some of the rewards, possibly a hundred thousand coin pack for some of the most expensive SBCs. And you know, those cards, these cards are still going to be in packs until Friday at 6 p.m. UK. These cards might be their cheapest uh, Friday at 6 p.m. UK and actually into the weekend after that weekend league sell off or Thursday is going to be like the best time to buy these. Kane under 150 is crazy, man. This is a really nice upgrade on that card. Lewa at 260, Salah under 500. These prices are nuts. Ter Stegen at 115. Mertens under 400. Crazy, man. Crazy price on these cards. But their pack weight's so high, and that's the reason why they're so low. So if you want one of these for your squad, either look at it on Thursday with the, after the Messi SBC comes out, or 
look at them after the weekend league sell-off this next weekend and possibly look to pick them up then that's my thoughts on those team of the group stage cards and again Hopefully, uh, whatever happens on Wednesday, I'm honestly hoping that we don't get a ton of uh, supply for these high rateds because uh, I do think I would like to sell my high rateds. What did I just click on here? I clicked on gold upgrade. Wow, that's crazy. I did not mean to click on that. I want to show you guys the, the packs supply that we got today. You wait for marquee matchups, a four set, man, four different packs that you can get. And a pretty solid group reward as well with a prime gold players pack. They love giving out that pack this year. The 45k prime gold, they really love giving that pack out. Uh, so I've seen that pretty often. But if we get more packs to play today, I think that could be something EA does to try to keep the fodder prices down. So just be careful with your fodder. And uh, again, if you, the last word on the fodder is if you want to take the risk, if you want to go balls out and wait for the messy SBC, hold on to it tight. If you don't want to take the risk, sell into the hype early. We'll see what happens with that on Thursday. We'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow before last preparations for the SBC and stuff like that. But I wanted to kind of get you guys in the know on how I feel like Thursday flipping could go this week. Kind of just in general market talk, looking at road to the finals and stuff like that. Thank you guys for watching this video. Greatly appreciate it and all the support that you've shown me recently. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.